Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. So last time we kind of bounced around from city to city um, trying to run an errand here, figure out where to go and what to do next and we've been led to this sewer. So we're going to explore that now. And it's a mouse of some kind. The deadly mouse. Ooh, and he's got poisonous fangs. That's not good. I don't want to get poison here. There we go. And I should really try and find some um, some armor and stuff for for Pooh, because he doesn't he isn't wearing anything right now. It's kind of kind of embarrassing. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and give the hieroglyph copy to poo you know what we'll do that later oh there's a bug <laughs> the filthy attack roach so this is kind of like one of those in-between dungeons you know where like it's not one of the major dungeons but you still have to go through here in order to, to progress like, it feels like you wouldn't even need to come down here, except for, like, there's one item that is needed. Do, 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 do. What's in the garbage can? There's a croissant inside. Yes, that seems... Let's take that. <laughs> I know someone needs healing. I'll give it to Ness. Ness, you eat the garbage croissant. And Paula saw a bunch of... Oh. I forgot he had a, con a carton of cream. Well, that's the oh god! You engage the de uh, the deadly mouse and his cohort. I want to get oh, man. Hmm. Who do I want to go after first? I'm guessing the stinky ghost. Oh crap! Well, at least Pooh can heal now. There we go. That's better. And he's still not down. What the? And there goes. Oh boy. All right. I'm gonna change up my my attack strategy here. Well, first of all, no, I need to attack using Ness. Mm. Jeff can survive around. Let's heal with... Actually, let's just use Alpha with Paul, and there we go. Good choice. Okay, now our direction is clearer. There we go. Wow, good job, Paula. You smashed the heck out of that guy. But I do still need to heal Jeff. There we go. I imagine this is going to be a thing that happens a lot. Another roach. Darn it, don't you don't you do that. Wow, really? There, that's better. Of all the enemies that <laughs> that's not a hard enemy. And another level up for Pooh. And inside is a broken iron, which needs to go to Jeff. And since Jeff's... Oops, no. <clears throat> I'm going to give a bunch of stuff to uh, Paula. There we go.
And our way is blocked. So. Oh crap. I knew that was going to happen too. As soon as I saw those there, I'm like, that's going to spawn some enemies in my way, isn't it? And it did. I'm actually going for the deadly mouse first this time. Get rid of that guy first. Bah! Okay. Come on, heal him quick, 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 quick. Yes, thank you. Probably only needed alpha there, but... Oh, come on! I'm not going to get her in No, I didn't get her in time. Gah. I might be under-leveled for this area. I'm thinking that's what the thing is. I'm just under-leveled. Because I certainly... well... I don't know. Come on, just go away! Okay. That's not going well. <laughs> Wow, everybody missed. Okay, great. Fine. You know what? No, still bashing. There we go. I do have a couple life noodles, which I can use for Paula. Try not to use all of those, because they're very valuable, but... There we go. Okay, we're all right. This is gross. This is just gross, dude. Oh god, the sound even. Oh. Squish, squish, squish. Ew. <laughs> I wish you hadn't done that. It's so gross. We're going to need a long bat. We need to go to Mr. Saturn Valley and take a dip in that hot spring again. It's stuck around in the trash can. There's a broken spray can inside. That's just insecticide. That's not really important. I can live without that. Alright, on to the next area. And then we've got our path blocked again so once more into the muck and the 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 bad the even worse part is it that we're we're way slow right now so it makes it way harder to avoid enemies wow speaking of avoiding this guy is a pain in my rear The enemy left a present, a secret herb. And more trudging. We must trudge through this stuff. Try not to think about it, to be honest. And there's a enemy there let's see if we can despawn it nope well we did but it respawned as something again stop trying to go into the wall there yeah, you guys stay down there one enemy is not bad all right so now I'm using Cy freeze on this guy there we go. All right. Come on. 
Finish him off quickly. Oh, that's the one person that, like, right now, Ness is the only one doing any kind of damage. There we go. Alright, finally. And I'm gonna need to heal up real quick. Oh, there's another one there. What? Okay, so this is another magic butterfly room. Let's see, who needs healing? Probably everybody. Well, actually just Jeff and Ness. Okay, so let's heal Ness first. All right, let's heal Jeff first. Um, then let's heal Ness up. All right. Okay, and let's see. So I'm at 106. So when I get to 125, Pooh is full. Hopefully that means I only need to get one more magic butterfly. That's yes. Here we go. We're good. Oh god! No, oh, I thought it was gonna get attacked from behind there. I don't really know what I was doing. Um, okay. Because we can just heal our um, side points in, in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and go all out here. I want to get rid of them qu as quickly as possible. Okay, good. Okay, we got rid of the sneaky ghost. Now I want to bash and then heal Jeff with poo. See, now here comes the strategy. I want to use poo as my healer right now because Ness is the one that does the most damage out of everybody. Um, and I want to have him available to use his physical attack. But Pooh does not do much damage. Oh, what? I just realized I didn't heal Jeff during the battle. Okay. And in the trash can is a Rust Roto DX, which Jeff will take and use. Okay, so let's check our status once again. Everybody good. There's a little life up on Jeff here. So he's at max hit points. Grab that magic butterfly and we should be good to go. Yep, oh, except there's bad guys waiting for us. Okay. Moving along. Again, this would be a great place to, you know, level up. Because you can heal up. Let's see. Do I want to go straight? Yes, I do. And there's an enemy in there I don't want to fight. Well, oh god. I definitely don't want to fight that group. Wow, and it's just getting worse. I probably should have just gone in there the first time. <laughs> okay. Two roaches I'm not too worried about. Four mice? Yeah. That would be bad. Why am I auto-attacking? Don't auto-attack. That's so... Well, now I can auto-attack. Try not to auto when there's more than one enemy because they'll attack randomly they won't focus their attacks unless you're so confident that you're gonna defeat enemies in like one or two hits that it's not gonna make that big of a difference let's see here there's a broken bazooka uh, I don't think Pooh can use that <laughs> let's give the sudden guts pill 
to ja uh, to Pooh, and let's give the broken bazooka to Jeff. All right, lots of stuff for Jeff in this area. And now we're gonna have to exit out of the room a bunch of times. Ah, that's too many mice. Oh no! I was trying to get out. Oh. All right, one roach I can deal with. Part of the strategy is just, you know. Um, yeah, part of the strategy is just figuring out which enemies to fight and which not to fight. Because you don't want to fight everything. And trudging through it. Oh, look! No one. Okay, so this was a. This was a your sanctuary location all along. Why this place of all places is a. A sanctuary? I, I can't even. Oh, crap. Um. Let's just go for it. And Pooh doesn't have fire or anything. It doesn't tell me what that does. I was hoping it would tell me what it does. Uh, I believe that's a physical shield, but I'm not gonna try it. All right, well, you know what? This should be okay. Fighting attack. One hit point. Okay. I can live with that. There we go. And that could have been way worse, but that's why you want to try and use your psychic attacks. <laughs> psychic attacks makes things much easier. You finally got here. This is the fifth Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Plague Rat of Doom. Now, obviously, this guy's gonna have some poisonous attacks for us, so. Um. Yeah. We should be careful here. Um. And I'm going to just go all out on it. Let's see what kind of goods he has. Nothing. Um, then let's just, actually, let's take a look at what he has. Let's try freezing him. I probably should have used thunder there to see what he's weak against. Ooh, that's great. That means he's not going to be able to do anything this turn. Oh, that didn't tell me anything. Maybe he's just not actually weak against anything or strong against anything so let's keep using freeze if we can keep yeah it would be great if we could just keep him from moving the entire fight it's not gonna happen obviously but the more times it happens the better off we are um let's see who was doing more damage this was um and you know what let's well I can't with him the secret herb I think it does if you if I can heal that poison with the secret herb and and not have to um, worry about using my psychic points to heal him that'd be best Oh good. Yes. Excellent. That's perfect. And this is an example of when a fight goes extraordinarily well. And as soon as I say that, it's probably going to start going badly. Because <laughs> that's just the way that it goes. Oh no. It died. That could not have gone better. That was awesome. That was an awesome fight, you guys. Alright, level ups all around. I can imagine Pooh's going to go up quite a bit here. Yep, 
couple of levels. Awesome. And now the fifth fifth your sanctuary is ours. All right. Sweet. Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Magnet Hill. Alright, so now we've got our... Whoa! There's a carrot key inside. Jeff takes it. As I was saying, now we've got our f fifth sound. Let's check out the soundstone. Ness touched the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. And there you go. Melody's coming together. Okay, so we're going to end it here. I'm going to do some leveling up. I want to get Pooh closer to um, the other companion's levels. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do that off screen. And then I'll see you back here next time for more Let's Play Earthbound. I'll see you then.